Hello, my lovely people. And oh my goodness me, aren't you lovely people? Thank you so much for all of your support. I have received so many bookings and so many beautiful donations. Thank you so much. I am moving into my new old home at the end of next week, um, with the week that this is for. So I'm going on the 8th. So this reading for you, my darlings, is a general read for all signs. And we have... Uh oh, lovely job. Um, and it's from the 4th to the 10th of March. And the energy at the moment for, well, the end of this week where I'm recording it and into next week is so much lighter and calmer. It feels calmer. Now, um, okay, they're just telling me I'm recording this on the 27th and we've got a massive solar flares and solar energy, which is quite disrupting for a lot of people, but it will have calmed down and settled by the time we get to the fourth. I no, no, they're just correcting me. Okay. Some of you are going to feel that energy for a while. Okay. Um, and I will, I will post some information up about it if you go to my community page on my website. I'll post some information about this solar stuff um, because it's quite intense. So not all of you are going to feel it. It's those of you who are really in tune with energy like I am. I feel the energy shifts. I'm absolutely affected by the full moon. Um, but for those of you that do, that's around. So just being aware of it. Um, it's actually very, very positive energy. Now then, what else do I need to tell you? Is there anything else I need to tell them? Yeah, my angel's here and she's just saying, thank you for helping her. Thank you for helping her. We have to get her home. Um, that's so lovely. That's so lovely. She doesn't usually give you messages directly, but yeah, she is. Um, so thank you. All right. Um, and for those of you a little confused, I needed to go away um, in order to come back. I did an awful lot of growing and learning and I'm going back to my old home, a newer, bigger, more expanded version of me in every way because I put on a couple of stone. <laughs> but that's okay. You'll come off when it's ready to. All right. So let's talk about this week of the fourth. So the first card and it fell out. Um, is the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is an energy about abundance and flow and things being easy. And it's not just in money, it's abundance period. Okay, so abundance that makes you stable and secure, gives a foundation, something lasting, something that will stretch. They're showing me stretching into the future. They're, give me some lovely images. They're showing me, you know, with bread or with pizza, when you're making it, you're kind of pulling it um, and it's stretching it. And it's, yeah, the, that's the image they're giving me. So this abundance that is coming in for us, um, starting, well, I feel it's already started, but this week of the 4th, they are really strong about this card, embracing that abundance. So those of you who are struggling, um, the thing is when we are struggling, it's so easy to get into that lack consciousness. You can't afford and there isn't enough. And of course we end up vibrating on that level of lack and we just attract more lack. So even though it's hard, it's getting out of that energy and into I am abundant. And if it's not abundant with the things you need, one of the ways to shift your vibration is to focus on the areas in your life where you are abundant. Even if that's time, if you're out of work, I'm abundant in time. And you're, <laughs> you're coming into alignment with that abundance. That's going to draw other abundance to you in terms of money or love or, um, you know, home security, whatever it is you're looking for. This week is an energy very strongly around around that so make sure you're vibrating at the right level what else do you want me to tell them please okay so two of swords i'm going to pull a few cards here and the magician and the three of pentacles all right so let's look at these cards so the two of swords is all about making a decision some of you really need to make a decision you need to take that blindfold off see things that you're not seeing um perhaps some of you, or not all of you, they're saying to me, you just have blinkered, yeah, and you're not seeing what's around you. Um, for others of you, you are neat, you're close to making that decision, and you know, those swords are there to help you cut through confusion. Isn't it awful? We can't make a decision, we're bouncing back and forth, it's exhausting. So, what we want to do is use those swords to come into clear away all the fog, clear away the confusion 
be able to be very cutting, all right? That's cut through and say, right, that's what I'm doing. And once you've made that decision, you own it, you stick to it. So some of you, and this is linked with this abundance and needing to make a decision on this. Am I applying for that job? Am I moving out of this expensive house into something I can better afford? Am I, um, you know, leaving my partner? Uh, am I, what am I doing? Make a decision. This is the week to make that decision. Now, they're giving you these two cards going together. They're telling me, talk about these together. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, working with others. It's your decision. You're in the driving seat because there's the magician, okay, which is all about manifesting, taking control, creating what, well, take control. She's just going, oh, she doesn't like her, take control. Um, but you're stepping into your creative energy and co-creating with the universe. Okay, you happy now? Yeah, right, okay. So, that three, we are co-creating with the universe, collaborating with others. We are also collaborating with friends, family around us. You know, if you're trying to make that decision, for those of you a little bit and unsure what to do, another pair of ears can be quite helpful. Talk it through with your mum or your sister or your best friend. Talk it through with a loved one. Now, don't let them make the decision for you. Mm -mm -mm. we can be quite influenced can't we when we ask others opinion but it's very often and this is why they want you to do it there can be an insight um, from a different perspective that we haven't seen and that helps us to make that decision so they're saying to you talk to people around you ask people for help for those of you wanting to move ask for help for those of you who are looking for a job and just not getting anywhere ask your nearest and dearest that you trust to look over your cv your resume see if it flows properly see if it goes well G bring in outside help you are not alone that's the main message with these cards you are not alone now what else do you want me to tell i've got to go to the lenormand cards what else do you want me to tell them, please? Fourth to the tenth, all signs for who's watching, who needs to hear this. There's a message here. If this doesn't resonate, by the way, it's not you and it's not me. It's just that this message wasn't for you because this is a general message for all signs. And if you need something specific for you, hit me up. I've still got my video readings on half price and I will keep them there till the end of March. Okay, so... Um, if you want to book in for a video reading, they're half price, 50% off. Okay, until the end of March. Alrighty, so what else do you want me to tell them, please? Okay, so the dice. And I want that top one as well. Okay. <laughs> the dice is all about taking a chance. It's a risk card. Now, some of us are risk averse. We do everything we can to avoid risks. And others of us are a little bit too, you know too chancy it's balancing it up if we continue to live very safely you know only going for that job if I absolutely know that I can be successful in it you know sometimes just have a go and if it doesn't work it doesn't work you've learned something move on um, like me and my Spain story okay it's fine you you've learned something you've grown and it's all right but if you don't ever take chances life gets smaller and smaller and smaller and it closes in and you get stuck in a rut we get stuck in our comfort zone now they're asking you to take a risk push away from the comfort zone take a risk go in a different direction okay because the two well, it's a 22. This is the two of wands in the normal tarot. It's coming to a crossroads. Which way do I go? Um, and it's the 22 in this deck, which is a master number. And it's saying, you've mastered what you need. Trust yourself. Trust your instinct. It's time to take a risk here. Okay. And go in a different direction. Now, it doesn't mean completely different. It doesn't mean... You know, if you're an architect starting to be an accountant, all right, does, <laughs> we're not talking that. But we're saying those of you who are a little bit stuck in a rut, in a complacent, safe little zone, in your job or in your uh, home or in your relationship, take a risk. 
go in a different direction. If you and your partner always go to the same restaurant, always go to the same pub, always go to the same places, go somewhere different. It brings new energy in. They're asking you to go and do something a little bit different, okay? That is going to, they're just showing me, whoosh, an avalanche of new energy. Yeah, when we keep doing the same thing, we really do get stuck in that same energy and it gets stale. And we're not, we're not getting, we feed off energy, okay? And when it gets stale, we start to get tired because we're not feeding off that energy. But when we shake things up a bit, we do something different, it's new energy, and we can feel that vibrancy inside us. So for this week, they are asking you to do things a little bit differently, to take a risk, and it's all part of that abundance wanting to come in. Ooh, how lovely. Okay. All right, my darlings, I hope that helps. And I will see you next week for more messages from your angels and higher self with all my love and blessings. Take care. Bye.